I got our new basketball fabricated and we've got our little kickers to go to our inner cooler mount to make it all a little bit more rigid. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got some things done over the last weekend. Didn't get any footage of it. I was feeling like complete dog shit. But we managed to get the fuel pump rewired. It is now controlled by the Holly. There is no more toggle switch on off. Got a working horn in the car now. Got the reverse lights wired up. You can tell that they come on. So essentially all the little tedious stuff to make it tree legal compliant, <laughs> whatever, all that stuff's done. Um, we still have to get a hitch on the car and yesterday it was close to 70 degrees and the temp wanted to rise if I did anything over 60 miles an hour. So. Tonight, I think we're cutting a hole in the front bumper as much as I don't want to, but you know what? It's It's got to be functional, and until I revamp the turbo kit to put a full-size radiator in here, I need more airflow, and that front bumper is obstructing that, so. It is mm, Tuesday morning? Tuesday? Yes, Tuesday morning, and uh, I got to put in my time. At the Auto of Parkdale before we can play with the townie. A few moments later. Well, that escalated super slowly. It took me forever to get the bumper cover off. I've never had the bumper cover off on this car. That thing, that air damming thing, and this. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I figured I'd check in with you guys since. I'm really good at doing stuff and not bringing you along. So here's me bringing you along. I got his face ripped off. It's on the float. A little longer than a few minutes later. A hole has been cut. I'm not going to show it to you on the car yet. Because I'm liking, I'm liking that. And that is going to make that not so much a thing. So... Bum, bum, bum. I still have some roll bar tubing left and I left the crash supports in place so I'm literally going to bend that at the appropriate length 290s Ta -da. Ta -da. there it's now in peace Burnt in all the way around on both of them sides. Yeah. So, still in the process. I'm going to tie the lower core support, radiator, intercooler support. I got round stock left. I'm going to tie it just to give it a little bit more rigidity. And then we're going to put it all back together and drive it home and see if it made a difference or not. All right, now it's done done, for real though. If you haven't realized or picked up on yet, when there's no time lapse, it means I'm working on stuff after work. I work a normal eight to five job, just like the rest of everybody. Anyhow, I got our new basketball fabricated and we've got all the little kickers to go to our inner cooler mount to make it all a little bit more rigid. So. Once I'm done watching paint dry, I can put all of the bits back on the bit machine and then we can go home. I want to go home. It's 
way past go home time. So here we are, Biggie's pants down again. This time, we're in the rear of the bus. So we need a hitch for this drag and drive. It's literally the last thing I believe we absolutely need to get done before we're ready to go. And being that we have like two weekends, three weeks, like we're running out of time. So we're gonna make one now before y'all go crazy and say why didn't you just buy one look if i'd have bought one and just put one on then it would have additional weight so we're gonna do what we did in the front and delete on this here rear bumper crash bar and try to incorporate how we fabricate that so it's also the bumper and I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, but here's me checking in. Six hours later. Very rudimentary, but there it is. There's a hitch on it now. And I already relief cut the bumper. Yep. So, uh, go ahead and snap to this all put back together. And we, and we, and we, it looks like we're ready to go boating. So, yep, hole's a little big, but there was a rip in the bumper cover there. That's why there was that all-star sticker there. So I just cut it up far enough. And now we can get in there and put the pin in and hook up chains for, you know, hauling mini bikes and stuff. Because why the hell not? All right. So successful bumper revamp, both in the front. Mucho air, more airflow over the radiator and intercooler. Temps are way down compared to what they were before, so that was for sure always great once a plan works out. And then we got this, which was two birds, one stone. Need a hitch. There was a huge tear in the bumper right under those two little dimples there, and that's why I always had a sticker there. But now I've got a hitch for the Dragon Drive, which if you haven't picked up on it already, I don't, I don't, I don't know how long you've been around the channel, but I've only been talking about drop the hammer Dragon Drive for like since I got the car out of the snow, um, and I found the original list for those that have been following along. So we're gonna go ahead. Let's cha. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Alright, well, guess what? We've got a line lock. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Line lock's done. Remove bumpers. Guess what? We just freaking did that. Yeah. Um, that's not happening. This still didn't happen yet. I don't have the money for that. We found our fuel leak. It was not the fuel line. We still have fuel line. Still need to do that. But guess what? Horns freaking done. Verse lights are done. This is for mid season. And that's done. So out of the original list, there's only one, two, three, four, five things that didn't get checked off. Trans fluid is still ruby red and doesn't it smells brand new so not gonna do that yet clean fuel filter we are gonna do before the event which we've got two weeks so we've got time don't think we're gonna deal with the rear shocks because we've already been testing and it's it's working and the catch can i'm not worried about because i made a little block off for the fresh air intake so we're not smelling crankcase ventilation so guess what people I, I think we're ready. Well, there you have it. Just like that. Now, obviously, we're still going to need to put fuel jugs on there. And this is 
designed for a dirt bike. This unbolts, so this is gonna get moved. The slicks are actually gonna get stood up and then I'll put stuff in the middle and strap it all down. But more importantly, it doesn't look like it's gonna be super duper squatted compared to what it already is. So we should be golden. Dilly's gonna simulate my fuel and we're gonna see how much it squats. Meh. It's not like it's gonna rub or anything. It's gonna be fine. It's fine. Things fun. Oh. Well, there you have it. Through the rain with the rack, just the slicks for now. Uh, just kind of wanted to see what it rode like with the weight of the rack and at least part of what we're going to be hauling. And uh, it did good. It did. Uh, it did very well. All that's really left to do now. Wait. Uh, we've got three weeks, and then it's the 31st, and then we go on to do this Dragon Draft thing, thing and see how it's going to work out. You know, this is uh, uncharted territory for the Badger Built channel, and for the Biggie, so this should, uh, should be interesting.